Thank you for joining me on my masterclass. Now today we're talking about the Russia sanctions and how they're going to shoot up the value of Bitcoin. Now that's how the Russia sanctions are going to shoot up the value of Bitcoin. Now we've seen that the Western world has blocked Russia away from SWIFT. Now SWIFT just simply means the Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunications. So it's based in Belgium and basically it's uh, an operating system for central banks all around the world. So when you want to send money from maybe America to your family in Africa or maybe you want to send money from Switzerland to somebody in Hong Kong, it has to go through SWIFT. You know? So if you're cutting out Russia for SWIFT, that means like a Russia central bank can't do financial dealings with the rest of the world. So they're basically isolated. Now, in response, Putin has banned Russian banks and individual, individuals from sending money out of Russia. Now, so you see, there is like I mean, a, an isolation of Russia right now, a big isolation. Now, what this means is that Russians are going to be looking for alternatives. They're going to be looking for alternatives to transact business with the outside world. Now, we've seen this before. This is not the first time we've seen this. Now, in 2020, the U.S. administration of President Trump placed sanctions against Cuba. Cuba, there's a company in Cuba called Fincimex. You know, uh, basically the, the military, you know, the communist uh, government and their military, uh, they control the financial transactions going in and out of Cuba. And so the Trump administration put sanctions on them. And so they blocked, you know, like um, the ability of uh, uh, Cuba to receive money from the U.S. And so all, uh, there were about 400 Western Union um, outlets in Cuba, they had to close down and all the Western financial outfits had to close down in Cuba. What happened with Cuba? Cubans and their government just shifted to Bitcoin. They shifted overnight to Bitcoin because they had no choice. And then overnight, the value of Bitcoin shot up by about 15%. You know, it shot up. Because, every, I mean, the population of Cuba is about 11.1 million. And then overnight, you know, 11.1 million, let's say the adult population probably will be about 7 million. I mean, 7 million people just, you know, go on to the Bitcoin train. You know, it's going to have an impact. It's going to have an impact. And Bitcoin shot up by about 15%. Now, we're seeing that with Russia being cut out of SWIFT, and then their government banning them from transactions, sending financial transactions out of the country or into the country. They're going to be having a piggy bank effect. They're going to just piggy bank up to cryptocurrency. And Russians are very, very, they're very, very good at Bitcoin. A lot of them, they mine Bitcoin. Now, the population of Russia is about 144 million. Now, you think about that. If an island with a population of 11 million can affect the price of Bitcoin, because you have to understand, Bitcoin price, it just rises by the laws of demand and supply. Demand and supply. So where the demand is much greater than the supply, prices are going to go up. When the demand is much lower than the supply, prices will go down. So if you're having a country, a large country like Russia, with 144 million people now coming, piggy banking, or piggybacking onto the um, Bitcoin train, you see that it's going to have a very, very upward effect on the price of Bitcoin. Bitcoin is going to go up. And we've seen it already. You know, I mean, I do a Bitcoin indexing. You know, I've given you four projections. And each and every time I've given you projections, my projections have always been spot on. You guys can be every witness on this. A lot of people have made money listening to my projections. Now, let's look at what's been happening right now. On Thursday, February 24, 2022, when Russia invaded Ukraine, how much was Bitcoin? Bitcoin was about $34,800. It was hovering between $34,000 and $35,000. Now, yesterday, Bitcoin shot up to $42,600. Today, and you're going to see it up on the screen, Bitcoin is $43,500. So between Thursday and today, which is just five days, Bitcoin has shot up by about, look at that, $9,000 per unit. 
So if you, and I told you guys, I said, buy Bitcoin. Remember I told you, buy Bitcoin. I said for you guys to buy Bitcoin on Thursday. Now, if you had listened to me and bought Bitcoin, if you had bought just even one unit, you'd have made 9,000 plus profit, pure profit. But it's going to keep on going up because Russians are going to just, they are jumping, they are piggyback in, into Bitcoin. And it's going to have an upward um, uh, uh, effect on the uh, upward effect on the price of Bitcoin. Bitcoin is going to go up. I'm, project, I'm projecting that we are going to see something like fifty-five thousand dollars for Bitcoin. So I will cancel you right now. I mean, the best time to have bought would have been on Thursday when I told you when I cancelled you guys when I gave my my third projection and I told you guys to buy. But it doesn't matter. Buy now. It's still going to go up. You know, the sanctions on Russia is just going to have that effect. It's going to go up. Now, my name is Renaud Mokri. If you've watched this and you have questions arising from this, put them in the comment section. Put them in the comment section. My staff are very, very good at curating comments. They bring them to me. I will try my possible best to respond to your comments. Now, remember, I do not have a WhatsApp forum. I do not have a Telegram channel and I do not have a Gmail email address. Scammers have seen that my videos tend to go viral and so they've created a number of fake YouTube profiles and then they approach people in the comment section of my videos telling them helpline, guideline, one-on-one -on -one mentoring, I will help you, useful tips. Please be careful. I don't want you to be duped. I hate poverty. I'm here to help people prosper and I don't want you to lose your money watching my channel. My name is Ronomoki and thank you and God bless you.